Hello Scorpio and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for May 2020. This is going to bring in an overview of what's coming in for you and what you can expect and I'm going to use two beautiful decks of cards for this reading. We're going to use the Witch's Tarot and we're going to use the Work Your Light Oracle cards to bring in a card for you, the Divine Feminine, and a card for your Divine Masculine, whatever sign they are. And we're going to use the messages from the Masculines and the Feminines to see what they want you to know. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. And I'm also recording for each Divine Masculine a reading. So whatever sign your masculine is, there'll be a reading on here for you and a general overview as well for Scorpio to see what's coming in. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for all of the Twin Flames, please? The Scorpio Twin Flames, what do we need to know? Wow, okay. So I'm going to take out anything I feel is jumping out here. Anything that's jumping out. Can we have a card, please, for the Divine Feminine? What do we need to know? Okay, I'm taking out the one that's jumping. Can we have a card for the Divine Masculine? Thank you. And then I'm going to do these cards. What does your masculine want to say to you this month? During May, what does your masculine want to say to you? And what, does you, what do you want to say back to your masculine? Okay, what do you want to say back to your masculine? There we go. So we're going to start with these then. So, wow, I need space right now to heal. So your masculine is going through a healing during this month of May. And your response to your masculine is, I understand you need time. So powerful. So this month, you know, feminines, you're going to have to be a bit patient with your masculine while they work out what to do. Because I feel it's more than just they need time to heal. They're working out what to do, how they can make the changes that they are now being guided to make to move forward to be with you. So Divine Feminine, you've got Pallades here. You're realising that you've got a double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So you're realising right now that, you know, you need to give your masculine the time that they need because you're on a joint mission. You know, your mission together as a twin flame couple in union will be to uplift the energy of humanity because I feel you've got Palladian energy around the both of you you know you're raising up you're ascending right now so it feels like you're going through an ascension so you're possibly feeling ascension symptoms in May and it could be connected with light-headedness things like that because you know you're flying high you're, you're connecting with the, the other realms, the angelic realm as well here, you know, you, you're shifting. So I feel there's a big shift coming in the connection and this is a good sign. So if they are asking you for time, then trust that it's needed while they are going through this ascension because you're coming into mission right now. You're coming on path into mission so that you can work on humanity and heal the world. How powerful is that? And then the masculine saying to you, wow, warrior woman, Okay, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? So the masculines, not only are they realizing that you, divine feminine, are a warrior, but they are tuning in with their warrior energy also. So they are gaining that sword of truth. But can you see there in the picture, she's hiding behind the sword there. So she's gaining the courage and the wisdom to speak the truth. So your masculine is saying to you right now, you know, and it's whether she's, you know, your masculine as a man or a woman, it's irrelevant. It's the energy. You know, your masculine is gaining the courage to move out of kind of like behind the sword and to speak the truth. So your masculine is gaining the courage, the strength and the wisdom, wearing the armor of heaven here to be truthful to you, not only about what they want with you and from you, but about your mission. Because I feel your masculine is realizing the truth about who they are and who you are as a divine couple. Okay, as twin flames. So this is more than just needing space to heal. This is about realizing who they are and what they need to do, making the decision to move forward. And that's why you understand that your masculine needs time. That's super powerful, okay? So we've got balance there. So balance coming in this month as well. You know, realizing that you've got to have patience. You need to have time for your masculine to begin again you know, to work out what they need to do here, coming through as the King of Pentacles. So your masculine right now is actually tuned in with heaven, you know, sorting out their situation, their 3D life, their money stuff, 
you know, their stability. You know, extra sign here if your masculine is a king of pentacles is an earth sign. But I feel this is more about the energy that they are working out what to do. You know, the same energy there, contemplation, that's what I'm feeling. And that's why you're currently in separation. So that's why, you know, there may not be any communication or if there is, it may be limited because your masculine is working out what to do, what to say so that they can come forward towards you and build the life that you desire. So, you know, when they're working things out financially, it's so they can provide this to you. You know, you've got there the, the Ten of Pentacles. It's very much about, you know, the happy home, but it's about the happy home with the perks, the benefits, the money, you know, the loyalty. You've got the dog there, the picket fence, all of it, the whole shebang. So this is very much about, you know, you understanding that everything they are doing this month is working them forward to you. You know, it's helping them to heal, to bring them into union. So release any fear, you know, any doubt, any confusion, you know, sleepless nights energy there as well. And, you know, understand that you're both the magician. You know, you're taking control, your masculine is taking control and things are falling into place because fate and destiny have got this. You know, everything's working and moving in your favor right now, but you have to trust and believe and not be so defensive. You know, don't take things personally. If your masculine's being quiet this month, they need time to heal. You know, if your masculine's being a bit cool or, you know, the blocking you're at going through any of that energy, and I'm not saying that's going to happen, but, you know, you have to stand your ground and be forceful, but not take it personal. So this is a real sign for you, Divine Feminine, to take a step back this month, give them the space and the time they need and you work on you because you've got a mission together and it's coming in soon. You know, you may be thinking about the past, you know, thinking about the way it was, wanting it to be like that again. And the angel is saying it's going to be something far better than it was before because you're both thinking of each other this month. You know, you're both healing. You're both going through this energy where you want to come together because you're going through inner child activation. You're going through ascension. You're going through the process of self-love. You know, you're healing. So I feel you're both trying to make it more light-hearted and patience is the key. So the angels are asking you to be patient this month and to not give up because your masculine isn't giving up on you. You know, you're healing the past. You're letting go right now and you're preparing for union. So everything that's going on this month is preparing you for divine union. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in this beautiful deck of angel cards that I've created. What angel is around the both of you right now? Wow, we've got Archangel Uriel coming in. So during May, Archangel Uriel will be around the both of you, inspiring the both of you to lead you forward towards union. So Archangel Uriel is the illuminator. You know, the one that puts ideas in your minds, that shows you the way forward, that gives you a vision of the future. And I feel this is about you realizing, you know, that you're moving up, you're ascending. You know, there's power coming in, you're here to help the world. So you're gaining divine knowledge and divine wisdom. You may even see things on the television, on social media, something you're being guided to watch or learn about your roots and where you come from and where you're going. Because it's showing here changes coming in. Any other archangels we need to know about? Well, we've got Mary Magdalene as well. And Mary Magdalene is the ascended master of forgiveness. So you're being guided to forgive, to let go, you know, to heal. Do not take anything personally because you're moving forward towards union. You know, this cup is overflowing right now and better things are coming in. Karma has been restored. You know, things are changing right now. Things are being healed and it may feel a bit like hard work, but it will be so worth it in the end. So don't be defensive. Don't take things personally. Stand up for what you believe in and understand that any delays are necessary right now so that divine wisdom can flow in. They show me the crow there or the raven, very much connected with, you know, mystery and wisdom and learning and growth here as well. Forgiveness as well with the black feathers and, you know, we're coming together. So the three of cups signifying reunion, signifying celebration and are coming back together. So the angels want you to trust and keep the faith because, you know, you're like divine magnets. 
you know, you're being guided back together and you're being shown the way. So even if it's quiet this month, you know, you're being guided to work on you because you're here for a bigger purpose. You're here to heal the world, to raise the vibration of humanity. How powerful is that? So be patient, be kind, be loving. Don't take anything personally and give the masculines the time that they need. Send you so much love. Have a beautiful month and I'll see you soon.